Uh, welcome guys. So uh, this is another uh, IMO problem and uh, basically use the idea of the uh, infinite descent. So if uh, you haven't seen my previous video, then uh, you should go to. Okay. Yeah. So I, I have a, a video list of the of the of the infinite uh, infinite descent. A method of infinite descent. So there are a uh, lot, uh, at least five of them, right? So you can check. Uh, if you don't know the idea, okay, but uh, now uh, let's see. Okay, so the idea is that we need to prove this. Uh, we need to prove that a b are positive integers b, and we hope to show that uh, if four a b minus one divides uh, four a square plus uh, four is my uh, four a square minus one square, then it, it must be okay. So the idea is proved by contradiction. Okay, so how about we do this? Uh, we first notice that uh, if four a b minus one uh, divides four a square. Uh, four a square uh, minus one square, and uh, okay. So step one, we want to show that uh, this will implies that uh, four a b minus one will divide a minus one a minus b square. Okay, and the uh, proof is uh, very easy. Just uh, so four a b minus one will divide b square four a square minus one square, right? Because uh, this is correct. So this is correct, and also minus. Uh, for a b minus one, so for b minus one divides itself, right? So b minus one times a uh, another complete complicated factor. Okay, so the first uh, exercise to show this complicated expression actually leads to a minus b squared. Okay, so step one is that uh, we uh, simplify the problem. That's uh, suppose this divides this, then this must divide this, right? Okay, then we prove by contradiction. Uh, what to do, right? We prove the uh, by contradiction such that uh, it, uh, define a set called S. S to be, uh, let's say, uh, A plus B, where A, B are positive integer, and uh, such that uh, such that this divides, uh, such that this divides this, right? So let's define uh, this. Call it K, right? So S is a S is a set that uh, depend on K. Okay, so you you pick up k, uh, which is some pos maybe a positive integers. Uh, for some k, and you pick up this, right? And then you define a set. Uh, you define a set called S k. S k is a, a plus for S k are all the uh, uh, positive integers satisfy this relation, and then you sum of it. Okay. Uh, so one, so the idea is that the uh, so suppose so suppose the the conclusion is true. So if the uh, suppose the conclusion is false, right? so if the conclusion is false, that means that uh, that means you 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 can find some k which is non-zero and the uh, s k is non-empty. So if so, we need to prove by contradiction, right? So if the conclusion is false, there exists some k such that greater than zero, such that s k is non-empty. Okay, so that means, uh, so we need to prove by contradiction, right? So we need to assume this is correct. And then, so that means uh, we, we, we will get some k, which sk is not empty. And we, we notice that sk is a subset of the integer, a positive integer. And also in this case, that sk is not empty, right? So by a proof of infinite descent, we know that the sk must have, uh, must has a minimum. Right, so let's assume that uh, uh, we pick a and b just abuse the notation such that uh, a and b a and b are corresponding to the minimum so and b corresponding so that means a plus b satisfy this, this region and a plus b is actually the minimum okay so this is step two uh this is i mean this kind of problem is hard because uh, you need to uh make sure you understand uh what, what i'm talking okay and then we need to assume that a greater than so that means uh we uh without loss of generosity we can assume that a greater than b okay Okay, so now uh, let's consider the quadratic equation. So this is the the old old scale, right? Consider the quadratic equation such that uh, let's fix b, right? So let's fix b for x b minus one equals to k. Okay, and the first solution. So the first solution, I uh, I already know, right? The first solution is a because by definition. So we need to solve the second. Okay, so simple exercise. Uh, second uh, solution x two will be. 2b plus 4kb minus a. 
Okay, and also uh, can be written as b squared plus k divided by a. Right, so this is the second solution. Okay, so sort of the, the, the final thing we need to prove by contradiction is to show that uh, is to show that actually uh, think, okay so let's since we already assume that a plus b is minimum right so so if one can show if one can show uh well, well if one can show your x2 is less than a then this will violate this right because otherwise that x2 plus b will less than well must be less than a plus b and at least violate minimality so if we minus the minimality that means that our conclusion a greater than b which is false then let's say a must equals to b okay and also violate the second condition that the sk is non empty set okay uh yeah so let's so the final step right the final steps is in easy to show it's just easy just to prove that uh, x2 is less than a and also, by the way, this x2, by definition, right, is already a positive integer uh, from this expression. Okay, so it remains to show that uh, x2 uh, less than a. Uh, but how to do this? How to do this? Okay, so let's assume that... Uh, so, so okay, so let's see. So in order to prove that uh, x2 less than a, is if only if you prove that uh, b squared plus k divided by a less than a. Okay. So this is the same that uh, you prove that the b squared plus k are less than a squared. So let's say k is a k is what a minus b for a b plus one uh, a minus b squared for a b plus one, right? So this is a definition. So you 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 need to prove this is correct. Okay. You you just need to prove uh, this is correct, okay? Okay, but uh, uh, but this is obviously uh, the reason. Well, the reason is that uh, you can shuffle this as a uh, so you see a my if a minus b square divided by four a b minus one, right? This four b minus minus one is greater than zero, uh, greater than one, right? So this term is uh, less than uh, a minus b square, right? So it's less than a squared minus b squared. Uh, wait, sorry. Right, so this turn, uh, so we have this, right? So, and we we need to, we hope to prove that. So, that's, so let's see, right? Our, 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 I already say that a greater than b, right? So this is, this can be written as a minus b, a plus b. Okay, and, uh, Oh, sorry. This can be written as a minus b, a minus b. So like less than a minus b, a plus b, right? Because a b are positive integers, so this equals a squared minus b squared. So finally, you prove this less than uh, a squared minus b squared. So this is the same as this block. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hope. I uh, hope you guys like this proof. But basically, the, this is the same as the previous uh, idea called the Vitesse jumping but, and uh, infinite descent. So basically, you use the roots uh, Vitesse formula to relate the you roots you to relate this quadratic, and uh, to prove that uh, yeah. So the idea is that's the same, right? You first define a plus b and take the minimum, and then you hope to show that if there is a minimum, then the you use this, then this will lead to the contradiction, right? So once you get a contradiction, you mean uh, you you can see that your assumption is not correct. Okay, so this this problem is very very technical but very very interesting. Yeah. Okay, see you guys next videos. Okay, by the way, subscribe to my channel.